Hi everybody, I wanted to make a video about this beautiful bike. Um, it's a Marine St. Quentin II. Um, so specifically I picked this frame from 2019. I bought this as a frame, not the whole build bike um, from manufacturer. So I got this as a frame and I wanted to build it up uh, with the parts I have or with the parts I, I pick. So, um, it's a great bike, first of all, I want to say. Um, and I specifically picked 2019 frame because of the frame geometry. So I wanted to ride the bike uh, pretty upright and I wanted to um, have a bike pretty ver uh, versatile and I can use all like all rounder as a mountain bike or bike packing bike or trail bike. So this actually f suits best for me so um until i got this bike i've tried many other many other bikes actually uh such as salsa timberjack which i still have it i love it but it's a little bit different than this and um santa cruz chameleon um specialized fuse i used before niner niner sir nine which was a great bike but again this is this is completely different so um anyway it's an aluminum frame it's size large normally i'm i'm 510 um, I go by medium frames, but because of the C-tube angle and um, the head tube angle, actually the stack is pretty short and I can I can ride it almost like a medium bike, medium uh, size bike. So the head tube angle is 6 to 5 and C-tube angle is 7 to 5. Um, and also chain state is great for me as well as 425. Um, reach therefore is four nine uh, four six four, no sorry four um yeah four six four right, so it's pretty short, so I go by large, so anyway I'll, I want to show you a couple of specs and the parts that I uh, put on, um it's an aluminum bike it has uh, rock shock Yeri, uh, front fork, um hundred fifty mil travel, um I think it, it's it's perfect for me for this setup and the wheel set is um d2 swiss um 1501 it's it's a great wheel set i want to say it's on a little bit um expensive side but um it's not a heavy duty wheel set but it works best for me because i'm not i'm not a person making a huge like jumps on the trails and you know i, I don't go i don't write um heavy and it's you know i wanted to keep this as light and supple because i wanted to use this bike as um bikepacking bike um all-rounder enduro all mountain what are we gonna call i just wanted to um, make this bike everything all at once so which is doing so that's why i picked this specific frame um anyway so yeah it, it's great so you can see here um 30 uh, millimeter internal um for the wheel set here is in the back it's a, it's a great um wheel set it's it's not common nowadays but um i recommend if if you're if you wanted to keep the bike as like all rounder like i do so um nothing special here for the brakes slx shimano xlx brakes um 180 180 mil uh, rotors both uh, front and rear um what else so i have sram gx group set um 12 speed it's it's not the car in gx i think it's 2019 or 20 i'm not sure i'm sorry if i if i make a mistake here but it's it, it works it works great um so what else I have dropper seat post trans x it's fairly cheap um but i've had more expensive stuff before i want to say this works great it's it's perfect so um i have rock shocks and um you know the crazy other 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 brands so um, i use them but this this works fine for me at least so it's your personal choice um, the biggest difference for me for this bike was actually blue or not was tires so the first time I wanted to use this Terra uh, Veil um, Airline, so the wheel side is 25, a 0.5, and 
I've used Maxxis tires all the time so far. They work great, I were, there, there's no problem with that, but I wanted to have something more supple, goes a little bit faster, maybe um, roll faster, um, durable. And this, this was the perfect choice for me so far. I mean, I've been riding over 20 years. I've used so many different brands, mostly Maxxis and maybe Schwalbe as well. Uh, but anyway, so this one was the best. This one was the best so far I picked for for this all-rounder bike. Um, so yeah, um, the threats are not super aggressive. I mean, it, it still has plenty of threats on it, so I mean, it's not gonna slow you down. Um, but you know, it works, it works for, uh, for any cases. So um, what else? Yeah, the, the cranks are here, race face, um, not super fancy as a fact. So I wanted to use actually the same crank set as the cockpit here too, the race face. Um, I think the only original parts from the factory comes with this bike is the frame by itself and the, um, the saddle. So those are the only two things actually I keep it. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's this is pretty much it. So I wish I would show you um, how I build it up uh, from scratch. But um, I was too excited to, to build it up and I wanted to show you the la uh, last project. I think I made a mistake in the first um, uh, when I say about the the four. It's actually Pike. My apologize. So I said Yari, but it's Pike uh, 150 mil. So anyway, everything works great. Um, if you wanted to have a bike that does everything, all the job. So I would prefer, I mean, I, you can choose this bike. It's really great. Um, I haven't had any issues so far. Um, everything is fine, working fine, very versatile. Um, I'm loving it so far. So, um, okay. So I'm gonna post this pictures and several other videos on my Instagram page as well. If you're interested, you can check down below. I'm going to share that. Um, I build up mini bikes, um, but this one was unusual actually recently. So anyway, thank you for watching.